Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a frustration many gamers know all too well. You reach the climax of a game, ready to face off against the final boss, and suddenly your game crashes. Why does this keep happening with modern video games? Just this year, the Suicide Squad game launched with a critical bug that marked the main story as complete for players who had just logged in for the first time. Before that, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet were notorious for their numerous glitches. So what's behind all of these unfinished games? There are three main factors intertwining to create this issue, and the first is scope. From mini games to new characters, enemy types, and decisions about which platforms to release on, Developers must define the scope of their game carefully. As games expand, so do the demands from both the gaming community and business stakeholders. Some studios manage this well, others don't. A larger scope increases the risk and potential for bugs to slip through. You might wonder why not reduce the scope? Often decisions about a video game's breadth comes from beyond the developers and testers leading to an everything but the kitchen sink approach. Unfortunately, this is common practice in software development. Next up, time constraints. Studios face deadlines whether to outpace competitors, satisfy stakeholders, or sync with new console releases. Despite the years it takes to develop a modern video game, the intense deadlines often leave little room for adjustment and a poorly managed scope can devour precious time rushing the development process. Lastly, let's talk about the testing team. No code is perfect and that's where quality assurance or QA comes in. They identify issues developers might miss. However, under tight scopes and timelines, even the best QA teams can struggle as seen with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. What can be done to improve game quality? First, studios might limit the scope. Not every game needs hundreds of side quests. Yes, I am talking about Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. However, gamers' appetite for expensive games complicates this solution. Realistic deadlines could give developers more time to refine the game, aligning business needs with development capabilities. Investing in QA is crucial, especially for games releasing on multiple platforms or featuring extensive content. Each aspect of the game deserves dedicated testing, though this requires commitment and resources that may be scarce in today's economic environment. Thanks for watching. Your engagement helps shape the channel's content, so drop a comment below about your thoughts on the quality of modern games. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.